and I tell my side of the story. I am Risa Tisa. I am the creator of the Who the F*** Did I Marry series. I'm going to address the... <laughs> uh, my message to her is please stop lying to these people and you can tell them the real reason I left you, you cheated. I called you in the house with Bradley and we went to marriage council, didn't work, and we broke up. Mm -hmm. Because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting... I'm getting called all the types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary. Before I get that started, I want to publicly apologize to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him. Like, that was bad, but, you know, I made it... It was honestly a mistake. I just... If I knew this would, like get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to a concert, I don't know, because this is not worth the hate that I'm receiving, but yeah, since it was public, I want to publicly apologise to him, and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets, who, I think, my exact finance is not your business. She knew for a fact I had money because, again, I bought dinner. I did everything. Because I heard in the story where she said that we quarantined together during the pandemic. And I need to clear that up. I never went to my bank and, and, and needed to get approved for a loan. Getting up every morning, talking to your brother. Who was on the phone? Um, She had access to him. Buy it. Excruciating pain. She did admit to me that when she was pregnant, that was the other gentleman's kid, not mine. It were all signs, but I, I ignored him because she was my wife and I'm just saying she's trying to work hard. You start taking care of somebody who don't appreciate it and then you end up with a Reese Tisa. This was a fucking crazy ride. I told her the truth. But I truly had no idea who the fuck I married. My name is Kim Tobe. All things African Nana. Uh -huh. I'm a Kenyan global YouTuber. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. And today we are going to be reacting mm -hmm. to Omale's video yeah. with, the, with the girl. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be reacting to a video. I'm just going to show it and then I'll put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. And we'll have our opinions. These are just our opinion. And also we're going to react to Legion mm -hmm. from Risa. who the fuck did I marry? Can you ask what the is 844 system? Trust Kenyans to destroy every trend. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. What's your name? What's your name? Tell me your name. Yeah. This is the boyfriend. Mm. This is the boyfriend to the girl who went mm. to the stage. Mm -hmm. Are they having sex or are they dancing? So they are kissing. There they were kissing. <laughs> they were kissing and like, I like, think it's so inappropriate. Yeah, they even. Were... His dingling was. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, put it again. No, that is. And the boyfriend is on stage. The one now I've shown you. She went with the boyfriend mm -hmm. to the concert of her mm. so. I think that she could not have gone with the boyfriend. At least she could have gone herself. When I do that one, at least at the same time, she was overtaken by events or she was she was overwhelmed. But now the boyfriend is there. Why is she hugging on my leg? You know, as human beings, I'll just mix English and Kiswahili. We idolize people. Yeah, this that is That is idolizing. Una idolize pastor. But then uh, instead of you listening to the mm. to the message that the pastor is preaching, mm. you idolize the pastor. Now this one is, uh, it's like worshiping like this lady now here. Mm. It's an example that I'm giving. If you throw stones, me I'll build them nini yeah. castle out of it. This lady is like she she is it's like how she is behaving it's like she even have a crush on this guy yeah it's like idolizing that is so inappropriate for me by the not, way this is not even the whole video mm. it's not the whole video mm. i just you know male was pushing Ha, I'm happy. He was happy then oh. and people are saying that male had an affair with tanasha don these people, uh, uh, Nini, they are, uh, this is when she's coming on stage. Mm. This is her coming mm. on stage. Look. So you will put on sound. I don't want to be uh -huh. in Because they are singing, they'll, they'll copyright me. This one is okay the way she's dancing. Yeah, the way she came on top. Hey, it but was that... okay. She... Hey. 
look like oh, look. even Omale gave an apology. Mm. We do, should we watch the Omale apology? And the and the girl also apologized to the boyfriend. To the boyfriend yeah. and everything. Do you want okay. to hear to hear it? Mm. Yeah, I want to hear it. The apology. You know, at least here it's okay. What whatever that she's doing. When the the curtain went down, mm. that's when she hit the ground. Look, that's okay, right? Mm. Mm. That's she was okay. Dancing to herself, but then when the curtain went down, mm. that's when. Like that. That's mm. when you saw that other video. Yeah, that is not good. That is why it's a. They are behaving so as if they know each other. Ama they know each other. I Polly, don't know. is there a way Nini a celeb can allow someone to come on Okwa Nini? Do you remember the other time Zuchu was performing and yeah. he tried going to that stage and we yeah. on the very Omale calls. Omale has this thing like Asha. Do you know about Asha? The way Asha also was trending mm. because of calling this this girl. Kiki, mm. she, he called Kiki. Me, I feel like mm. uh, the way you say this, like they know each other. I feel like this is a staged reaction because I don't know he if you guys watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. want, it's a trend reaction so that he can trend. They used the Asha was trending last year with another like actor, mm. A-list actor called mm. Kiki. Mm. So Asha called Kiki on stage and Kiki was dancing and Kiki has a baby daddy. Mm. So it ended that that was real. It was real. Mm. It ended Kiki and the baby daddy because the baby daddy was uncomfortable mm. with the dance. Mm. So I feel like this is the the it's like the, it's a plant. Exactly the way they were the, dancing and they wanted Omale, for the curtain mm. to go down. Omale, mm. Omale, Nini, Omale was is copying Asha. That's my honest opinion. They want controversy. They want controversy. Yeah, that is my own own opinion. My so, my own opinion. I, this is the girl apologizing. I tell my side of the story because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting. I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary, and I keep coming and keep coming. Like, whoa. See, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologize to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but. Then you were there doing Look, Since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him like that was bad but... Nini controversy so should you ask the legion i didn't see the legion no, but i think by now you're you already know who the f did i marry hi i am risa tisa i am the creator of the who the f did i marry series that has been all over tiktok i do realize that this series has gone completely viral but I'm happy to see that people are having conversations about it. I'm going to address the rumor, Risa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's, um, it's sad um, because it's completely false. Of everything. More to the point, I haven't decided who I'm going to talk to exactly or go on whose page or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that she lied about everything. Follow her, don't follow her. That's up to you. All that stuff she said, it's complete lies. I'm happy to see that people are watching it. But more importantly, I'm happy to see that it is helping someone, even if it is just one person. That was the purpose of putting this video series up, to tell my story and to tell it detailed and in order. With that being said, I do have a public service announcement. The series, Who the F*** Did I Marry? is not something that you have to sit down and hold your phone and watch. I did it the way I did it, so that way you actually can listen to it as an audiobook, chapter by chapter, in order. So, if you see this, and you're like, oh my god, I'm not doing 50 parts, don't worry. Simply go to my page, click on the playlist, and it will play in order for you. You can listen to all the times I made bad decisions. You can, see, you can clearly listen to the good, the bad, the ugly, the embarrassing, but most importantly, the redemption and the forgiveness that I'm trying and learning to give myself. All in all, do not be dismayed by the fact that it's 50 parts. Think of it as an audiobook. That's how it was done. That's how it was recorded. Do whatever you need to do in your daily lives and just play it in the background. And if you still feel like this was way too long, she dragged it out. Fair enough. But 
I challenge you to listen to the entire series. I challenge you to listen to it in order. That way, a lot of the questions you have that you all are asking, they will be answered. If you still have questions at the end, I get it. And I understand. You guys be blessed. And I hope, I hope and pray that this series has helped somebody. So if you don't know what the 50 part series somewhere here, mm. I'm not going to show it. We're going to react to Legion. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't have the video here. Maybe need to go, go. This is Legion oh. now, eh? Legion is the husband, the said to husband Risa. to the ex-husband to the story time. The main cap character. We went to marriage house and didn't work. First, how do you have you seen his face? Mm. This is someone who you would believe. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why is he reacting? And it's, the lady did not even mention his no, name. No, he didn't. Mm, this he is did. first hand narcissist. <laughs> the way he was. That's a narcissist. The From way a rate of one to ten, how do you rate him? I rate him a narcissist nine point five. I know, correct, Kadia, how physically you're attractive to us, with 10 being very attractive, or a scale of 1 to 10. One. <laughs> I, I think I'll say 1 because of his behavior. behavior. You know, someone is ugly because of their behavior, because no one is ugly, by yeah, the way. Because physically, I... on face, she's... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a message to her, please stop lying to these people, and you can tell them the real reason I left you, you cheated. I call you in the house with Bradley. And we went to marriage council, didn't work, and we broke up. Mm. Have you heard? Yeah, because she cheated, uh, she saw no. him with Bradley, and that's why uh, they went they to marriage, marriage council. Yeah, that's why it didn't work, and because he uh, left her. Lisa cheated. Do you believe this? Story? I really don't believe. I, I, I don't believe at all, at all. Because if true, <laughs> why Lisa is he cheated? bringing another that person and naming them? And then he has the audacity to say, like, he's gonna sue yeah. Risa yeah. for that story time. In fact, Risa didn't mention, mention any name, name, so he doesn't know whether it was him or Bradley or whoever <laughs> that he was oh, married it's to. it's just a fictional story, uh, because so, me, I don't believe anything So he has, already, he has already stuck, I mean, he said, sued himself. Yes. Because it was him. Who and some women are believing him. Huh? Some women are believing you know, him me no and saying tell Risa people, is a narcissist. No, women, we are our worst enemies that's yeah. what i normally say me by the way i'm a feminist hmm? i'm team risa because i don't think whether me she I'm can right. she can be she can be on the, on in front of camera saying all that embarrassment embarrassing herself. embarrassment yeah and maybe me I see on her, in, in my own view maybe she was trying to share that men out there don't rush into marriage because whatever yeah. she said mm. is because she got married to this guy because of COVID society, uh, yeah, and, and societal society. pressure because she was like she mm. kept on saying oh god it's my time finally it's my time to mm. get married mm. and have a house so it's societal pressure and she even takes accountability uh, she takes it's accountability things. to most of the things you know me yeah. i do not watch all the 50 parts me but too. i watch people who are summarizing me i watch like i think part 50 mm -hmm. and then i watch people i didn't watch part 1 to 50 because i like I, I don't know like i just don't like to hear a story but she's a very good storyteller she mm. likes to and i'm so happy for her because for her telling her story the way she knows because mm. there are three truths mm. and that's her truth mm. for her telling her truth on her own eyes she's now bmw is working like with her giving her the exact car and she even she had it. a trip to london she has a trip to london and she also has a trip to paris and she's next verified thing, yes <laughs> next thing she's gonna have uh, our own house. The Maybe way she'll she be interviewed. Who gave you lady and it was a nanny? Oh, this lady, this lady woman who normally has blonde hair, she came to Kenya some two years ago. Oh, Ellen Ellen she'll is, be interviewed. Is Ellen still, still in? Is Ellen still a host? The, her don't show know. and Maybe don't know. her or this other person. Yeah, and she's two million followers on TikTok. Mm. I wish. Oh, and did he, TikTok didn't pay her? Mm. Yeah. The creator of her didn't pay her uh, because people are saying all the series uh, uh, research should be paid 80,000 USD. Mm. Risa came out and said like TikTok, like some of her videos, most of her videos are demonetized. 
but that's maybe it's a story so mm. that people don't come for her money. Uh, that's yeah. true. Hmm. Yeah, but because TikTok needs to really pay her. These yeah. are series, by the way. If she <laughs> had taken those videos on YouTube, she mm. would have been paid over three hundred thousand mm. USD. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hi. Yeah. Wow, okay. Anyway, if you haven't watched those, I'm not gonna put them. Just the go to TikTok one, and to look TikTok. at who the did I marry. Yeah, okay. the lesson you learned from there. Mm, I should not listen to what people say because people will never be satisfied. Society if you are single, people will say that you are single, no one wants you. If you get married, where is the baby? Where is the baby? When, when you, you have the baby, baby they say, are you the, uh, getting the next why? baby. Or maybe when you are single and you want to have a kid, you and your kid, they'll say the father did not want you because of this and this and yeah. this. What I'll say, society has a lot of pressure. So if you want to live well in this live. life, mm -hmm. eh? Just like a cotton wool, kwa masikio. Yeah, and people then, will talk, people will always talk. Even if you do what people will always talk. Just yeah. be you and live the life the way you you see the way it's, it is. Yeah, yeah. The way you think it's it's right. Yeah. That's what I'll say. So, Society. And always do whatever you choose to do in, la in life. Uh, any choice you make in life because mm -hmm. you can't live with fear. Mm -hmm. Always know the consequences that you can handle. And be, 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 be it positive, positive consequences or negative. Or negative yeah. consequences. And always learn from your mistakes. Yeah. That's what I've learned from that video. Uh, and also from this Omalay video, mm -hmm. for me personally, I have the biggest crush on 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 Chris, Chris Brown, Brown or and Asha, but I I don't think I will ever dance. Not even I don't think mm -hmm. I will like show. I will dance. There's a way you dance, not like the sexual dance. Mm -hmm. Like appreciate a man, but not like so intimately, oh, like hugging so and climbing. Do you ah, see yeah, her? Those people they knew each other. There's yeah. nothing like that. I will never it. like. I will never like. Like I will show my my funny or my fun girling, but not like intimately. Yeah, that yeah, was just too a much. Simple hug. No, like twerking. They can like, even destroy your marriage if if, if you have a man or a fiance or something. Uh, the girl, girl, the Asha, Asha girlfriend. Mm. Uh, not girlfriend. Mm. Asha, the one who Kiki Palma. Eh. I know, I know you guys know. It destroyed the relationship she had with, with. I know it's many factors, but that one triggered it like that. See, it's because that as human beings, we normally like idolizing celebrities. That yeah. is something that I'll never do. Yeah. By the way. If you appreciate someone, there's some there are some different ways of appreciating someone, not yeah. idolizing like sexual. Even dancing. even if you are that dancing with them, for. you dance like there's a way you dance, way. Yeah. not like jumping and hugging and getting your legs Laughing. Yeah. Uh. and then like it's there are it's, it's, it's as if she was giving um, Omalay the number or telling. Like I don't know, I don't want to speculate. Yeah, so maybe much, they gave. Was, oh, if I was the boyfriend, what if you are? Oh, if you are the boyfriend, I dump her immediately. Because that's what maybe she does. If she does that to a celebrity, uh -huh. with immediate effect, exactly. dump her. She just showed me who she is. I'm just a placeholder. <laughs> no, that's it, guys. If you want us to be reacting on trending topics. I'm going to have to react on... <laughs> we'll react on our guy. next date. On our next date. <laughs> on our next date, we're going to do... Reaction. I will do a reaction of whatever <laughs> happened to director Trevor and Eve <laughs> Mugai. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, subscribe to my sister yes. and subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye. It's a little video.